their own law that they put in place that doesn't follow the procedure. And if they could get away with what happened here, none of us are safe. That's right. And that's a big problem, especially yeah. to the black and Latino people, because this is who is affected. It's our people in what they call, I'm a quote unquote, the low income area, because that's what they label us as, low income area. And it doesn't matter where we are from, we also have rights. And they're the one that put all this law in place. And if they're not following it, then how you expect the people out there in the street to break the law to follow it if them themselves is not following it? So I just want to let the people know, you know, we have the petition online. You go on there, Rise Up for Romali, and you can sign that petition and let them know that as we look out here, it might not be a lot of people right now, but the numbers count. And this little people that's here, it counts to show that y'all didn't forget about what happened to Romali. Because like I said, Romali could have been your son. Romali is your son because it takes a village to raise a child. And that's what I grew up to believe in. I think that's what a lot of us grew up to believe in. And we're going to continue to fight, not just for Romali, but all the young men and women that's been killed and nothing has been done about it. We have to let them know our kids value something. We are not just, and they, they look at us and call us animals. We don't have four legs, so we are not animals. We are people, we are human beings, and they need to start treating us like that.